everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Rowdy's Weekly. I'm your host Heather Donnelly and first up on today's show is Freddie Adu. Thanks for being here Freddie. Thanks for having me. So when you first got here to Tampa Bay, you got injured pretty quickly and you were out for quite a long time. That must have been pretty tough for you. Yeah, yeah, it was frustrating. Um, you know, just getting here. Um, I kind of got here in mid-season as well and, uh, you know, just just being injured, being out for about six weeks, that that was a, I mean that was that was a, that was a very challenging period for me, um, because I've never been injured like that ever in my life. The the longest I've ever been out was like two weeks, so uh, you know I just wanted to work hard. I worked hard to get back, you know, to try and help the team. And you know, fortunately, we're right in the thick of things, and and we want to make a run uh, for the playoffs. Yeah, now you're back, you're fit. You even played a full 90 yeah. against Indy. What's that been like for you? Uh, it's been great. It's been great. It's been a long time since I played a 90-minute game. And, uh, you know, it's just nice to, to be able to, to get out there on the field and play and, and help the team, you know. And, and, you know, not just to be out there playing, but also to make a difference. And, and that's, you know, Stu, the coach, and, and my teammates have shown a lot of confidence in me. Uh, they want me to, you know, they, they want me on the ball and, 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 and create. And, and that's, that's, you know, that's big for me. I like that because um, you know, that's what I love to do. The team has played well the past couple of games, but just hasn't been able to get the result that you guys wanted. Right. What's the mindset of the team right now? Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's frustrating, uh, you know, for us because we have played well. Um, and and uh, just not getting wins. Um, that's a little bit frustrating, especially when you're trying to push for a playoff spot right now. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, the results have gone our way somewhat. So, um, um, you know, with the other teams and whatnot that we're competing against. But, uh, you know, for us, we're going to keep working. We're going to keep playing well, but we have to finish. That's the one thing that I think has, has plagued us a lot was, is our finishing. Uh, we got to finish uh, our chances because we do create a lot of chances in games. And, uh, you know, if we finish them, We'll be all right, but I think I think it's coming. You know, we have that feeling that it's coming, um, and uh, you know, once it rains, it pours. So, you know, well, hopefully, hopefully, the first the first one, the second one comes, and then you know, more to follow. With four games left in the season and the race for that last spot in the championship so tight right now between a lot of teams in the league, do you guys feel like these next couple of games are must wins? Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, starting with this one, especially the home ones. Um, this next home game is big for us. We have to win. We can't draw. We can't lose. We have to win. That's that's important for us. And uh, you know, like I said, the, the results in the other games have gone our way, um, and uh, we have our destiny in our own hands. And uh, we just got to take care of business. Ottawa is coming to town this weekend. A team that the Rowdies have had ties with yeah. so far this season. So, what do you think it's going to take to beat them? Honestly. Um, they're actually a pretty good team. They're, they're in a, a tear, you know, especially in the second half of the season. But uh, they, uh, you know, we feel like we have the team to beat anybody, and uh, especially at home. And so we're going to get after it. We're going to attack. We're going to do what we're doing. We just got to finish our chances. And, you know, I think you can, you can feel the sense of urgency in training, you know, in the locker room. Guys want to win guys want to be in the playoffs and 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 uh, you know they, 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 they have their minds right and we all do and uh, we're working hard you know towards that all right thanks Freddie good luck this weekend thank you very much and now I'm joined by head coach Stuart Campbell coach tough loss in Minnesota last weekend the team played well especially considering you were down to 10 men for most of the match what are your thoughts on that game yeah I was really proud of the guys and how they went they went about it obviously the sending off changed the dynamic of the game. I felt we were well in it. We probably had the better chances up to that point. Unfortunately, we couldn't capitalise that, capitalise on that. Uh, but now we put in a, a good second half performance, and uh, I thought we were going to steal a point at the end. This week, you guys signed Willie Hunt, someone who's very familiar with the Rowdies. He mm -hmm. played here last year. What do you hope that he'll bring in these last four games? Uh, he brings experience first and foremost. Obviously, I know Willie from playing against him in his days at Atlanta. I know Willie from coaching him last year and he's a, he's a good solid defender who obviously at this stage of the season I felt we needed a little bit more, more cover in defensive areas. He's, he's versatile, he can play pretty much anywhere uh, along the back four which is important for us. We had Freddie Adu here on Rowdy's Weekly. He's back, he's available, he's not injured anymore. What does he bring to the table? Creativity, you can see that in the two games that he's that he's played, obviously he, he looks pretty fit, he's probably the fittest he's been in the past couple of years and 
I'm just looking to build on his last two performances. After playing well the last couple of games but not getting the results you guys wanted, what's been your message to the team this week? Just to continue, continue with the same, the same vein. As I said, it's, it's the hardest thing to do when you come away feeling you've, you've played well and not got anything. I'd, I'd much rather we, we play bad and get a, get a result. And that's what, I, that's what I've said to the guys. It's about time that happened. And ultimately, I can sit here and say we're playing well, this, etc. But we haven't got the results and performances I've deserved. So we have to dust ourselves down and go into a, a must-win game on Saturday. Yeah, Ottawa comes to town on Saturday. You've played them twice this season, both times finishing in draws. What do you expect from them on Saturday? It'll be a very tough game. They're the they're the informed team in the league. They're they're on a they're on a great run. Uh, so it's going to be a it's going to be a big test for us. We've got obviously the opportunity. It's a home game for us to go and get three points, and that's what we're looking to do. All right, thanks, coach. Okay. Thanks for watching this episode of Rowdy's Weekly. The Rowdies take on Ottawa Fury FC Saturday night here at Allang Stadium with kickoff set for 7.30. You can get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or by calling 727-222-2000. The game will air live locally on WTTA Great 38 and stream live on ESPN3. That wraps up this episode of Rowdies Weekly. We'll see you next time.